a big crackdown on cargo train thefts after a year-long investigation. The thieves would raid slow-moving trains as they slowly winded their way through Los Angeles. Thousands of appliances, clothing, television, and even more were stolen. Now 22 people have been arrested. KTLA 5's Rachel Menetov joins us live from downtown L.A. with more. Rachel. Sharon Pedro, LAPD, told us today that it has recovered $18 million worth of merchandise allegedly stolen by those 22 people. It is still looking for anyone else who may have been involved, but it believes that it's been able to shut down this particular network responsible for these crimes. Robert Vega had a front row seat as thieves climbed aboard cargo trains, broke into containers and stole hundreds of packages with items ranging from family portraits and holiday gifts to more expensive things like medication, COVID-19 tests and PPE. Especially concerning, dozens of guns were also stolen from the raided trains. The railway in front of Vega's Lincoln Heights family owned business was littered with debris from merchandise that was meant to arrive at warehouse facilities around the U.S. It was a joke because these guys are hanging on to the, the trains while they're running or they're stopped. They have tools, they're opening up the containers, throwing everything, everything out. You know, it was like a free for all. In January, the railroad company Union Pacific reported a nationwide increase in rail thefts by 160 percent, with more than 90 containers compromised every single day. On Thursday, LAPD Chief Michael Moore announced that after a year long investigation, a special burglary train task force was able to arrest 22 people in connection with the crimes along Los Angeles City train tracks. Commercial Crimes Division's their detectives investigative efforts resulted in not just countless hours of surveillance, 49 search warrants, but also the recovery of over $18 million of merchandise stolen from these cargo containers. The 22 people arrested are now facing charges of burglary, cargo theft and receiving of stolen property. They allegedly stored their merchandise in their homes, cars and other warehouse type facilities and sold items here in L.A. County and as far away as Arizona. Authorities say they shut down four stores locations where they also found drugs and assault weapons. So it gives you a sense that those who might we allege were involved in these crimes were involved not just in the thefts from these train lines, but much more broadly. LAPD says together with the railroad itself, it's added fencing, lighting, surveillance and more foot patrols. So at night you could hear the cameras go off when somebody approaches the, the tracks. So they'll tell them to get off the tracks. So that's working out pretty good. And in a statement sent to us, Union Pacific Railroad Company says it has made considerable investments in security measures here in the L.A. area. And it's looking forward to working with law enforcement and its partners to see these cases through. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Rachel Menetoff, KTLA 5 News. Rachel, thank you. A